Yo, welcome to Hot Takes with Chatter Chats, but there's no hand holding. We do with fact on emotion. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you haven't already. Shout out to Middle Light, DraftKings, and Topo Chico. You guys should support them because they support us. Got a little bit, a little bit of breaking news. Um, Kyra Lewis was just traded to the Toronto Raptors uh, with the second round pick. That gets the Pelicans under the luxury tax. Now, that's really a bad sign for this Pelicans team moving forward because that's $5.7 million you lost in tradable salary. And that kind of signifies that this team has intentions on standing pat. Now, best case scenario, the team viewed Kyra Lewis's contract as like an arbitrage and didn't want to pay, you know, a high price or attach a pick, a first round pick or something like that to a Kyra Lewis to shed that salary. And they felt like it would be easier to move JV or move other players without Kyra Lewis's contract. That's one perspective. But for me, I think it more so symbolizes that this team intends on standing pat because there's only a couple of other avenues to, you know, still go out there and make a trade happen, especially considering some of the names that this team has been rumored, you know, to be attached to. NBA fans, the wait is over. Basketball's back and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, is celebrating with an unbeatable offer. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets for throwing down $5 on the NBA. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. You'll start the season with an instant dub. Basketball's more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code BOOT. New customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting just $5. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code BOOT. The crown is yours. That's still Larry Nance and uh, maybe a guy like Dyson Daniels or jv you know what i'm saying or maybe should all three of them you know what i'm saying it, it wouldn't be difficult to get to 30 million dollars if the pelicans needed to with jv larry and dyson but um i just don't see a high possibility or probability of them making any moves moving forward i know that's probably that's probably disappointing to some of y'all saying it's not totally surprising to us because we i mean I ain't really heard about us even really, you know, behind the scenes. It's it been quiet. It's been it's been a quiet season, like behind the scenes. It really has. It's um everything we've heard has been more so internal and it's been like not great stuff. It's been not really it's been bad stuff. But for us like trades and stuff like that, I haven't really heard too much to be honest. So I just wanted to give y'all this quick run now. I got another episode dropping soon, and I'm gonna like probably go further into detail about some of the trade um mechanisms that are still possible. But um, yep, Kyra Lewis traded so long, Kyra man. Oh, that was a terrible draft pick with fucking um Cole Anthony right there, Therese Maxey right there, uh Therese Halliburton, the pick before that was oh my god, such a terrible pick, man. But yo, a message from my sponsors. I'm out, peace.